Welcome, Leo Virgo, to your chakra reading for September. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. Keeping yourself balanced. Next message, please, for Leo Virgo. Message, please, for Leo Virgo. And one more. Impartiality. Feeling like you're, might, something might be impartial to you. Um, you might be holding on to one can thinking it's really good, but the other can's not so good, but you're still going to try to balance them out and try to hold them. Using the crown chakra over here, it's saying, I'm trying to unify this uh, situation. Um, how am I going to do this? How am I going to keep the faith to do so? Do I need to release something? Um, how am I going, yeah, just pretty much how am I going to balance this all out? There's something that feels a little imbalanced at this time. Um, if you step back from the present situation, what do I see? Can I be neutral about this situation? It could be two people fighting and maybe you feel like you're in the middle of somebody else's battle. Um, could be a possibility, but it feels like you want a neutral position, allowing things to unfold the way they should unfold. Uh, maybe you're pushing on a situation um, to make things happen too fast when that's not the way it's going to be. So you might need to um, be open-minded and really wait for the perfect timing of the universe. Um, I do feel like for most of you, it's you trying to push things to work too fast, making things happen too fast when it's impartial actually to um, the surrounding situations around you, just the universe itself, the timing. <clears throat> Universe wants you to understand that the determination of the solar plexus of I can have this is really a good thing. Um, but there is a determination to actually feel like whatever is impartial to you have the determination to take the step back to let things naturally unfold by itself using your natural intuition um, over here to really have the understanding that things have to unfold at perfect timings. Using the clarity over here, yeah, with a third eye, pretty much the same thing I just said. Clearly seeing that things have to go the same way. Um, don't get rid of the determination um, of getting things done. Um, just you need to take a step back because it feels like you have a little over-determination to get things unfolding. It's just not natural at this time. But when you have the clarity of the third eye, you'll have the understanding of how it's going to unfold and having the better understanding that it does need to have its own time. If it is someone around you that's keeping you impartial to the situation, have the determination to take a step back. No matter what, we're taking a step back, no matter what the situation is um, from the situation, um, to be able to clearly see what's really going on. For some of you, it could be family feuds. <laughs> Being stuck within the family, um, having people around you, maybe family fighting and you're trying to keep it neutral over here between yourself and determined to keep, yeah, just keep out of it, right? And it feels like it really weighs on your chakras because it's really feeling unbalanced because maybe they want you to take sides and you're like, no. But with your crown chakra, your third eye and the solar plexus is saying, you know what to do. Take that step back. Let them understand that this is not where you want to be, right? Because family has this way of wanting us to take sides. Um, and it's definitely something that's trying to unfold within a family unit. Um, something for your family. Something of the nature, right? <clears throat> so Spirit says... Angel messages over here. There will be success, but yeah, you do need to reconsider the actions of what's going on around you. Um, like I said, either pushing too hard or being stuck within this family kind of feud thing. Whatever your situation is, my friends, everybody's situation is different, but reconsider what's going on for your own success and clearly being able to see what's going on around you so that you're not feeling imbalanced anymore. Uh, let's see, your soul wants you to know. Compassion. 
compassion. The vibration of compassion shines through me every cell. So all you're going to do within the situation is make sure that you're just using the ultimate compassion over here. Okay, because that's really what your soul wants you to know is that there's just going to be compassion. Just make sure that the situation has that. That will keep the heart chakra open. So that way you don't feel like the impartiality that's going around you um, is <laughs> not only just unfolding slowly or is unfolding not good around you. Um, if it's a family unit, maybe you feel like it's trying, they're trying to fold itself inside, right? Like everything's crashing, crumbling, um, making sure that you're keeping the compassion between the two people. If you are stuck in the middle, right? Letting them understand. I understand it from your point of view. I understand it from your point of view. And I can clearly see my way out because you're imbalancing me and giving me stress and it's not healthy for me. Yes, compassion is the giving the generosity, and that's giving you generosity not only to those around you, but also um, towards the situation and towards yourself. Because actually giving that generosity to yourself says, okay, I've stopped, I've taken a step back. That's doing it for yourself through the self-love. There's going to be patient and planning over here on to where your next step is going to be because you're going to see new doors opening um, to the success. And this is because you're going to see things going. In the near future once you reconsider you take the step back and you have the determination to do so and let it unfold then the universe says okay i will start making the fruits start coming back um and things will start unfolding the way it needs to be and there's a family unit over here with the ten of cups because that is definitely a family that in the sun card talk about family and it is talking about it will be easier for you to keep up with your family and friends without having any feuds and stuff over here. It's going to keep you impartial, <laughs> you know, not only just impartial, but keeping you where you need to be. Um, because you're going to be in reassessing the situation of where your happiness is coming from if they're just trying to do whatever it is. So this card here actually is talking about, you know, providing for your family pays off. Maybe it felt like a thankless job at one time. But actually staying kind of out of it and putting yourself where you need to be is actually going to be able to see the fruits of your labor, um, right? <clears throat> so, yeah, and with, you know, I mean, that's just the way it's going to have to be, right? You'll be a more harmony within the family if you kind of stayed out of it. That way you don't feel like you're stepping on anybody's feet right okay so like i said take it how that resonates and i will grab a law and attraction card this is just going to bring back so much more compassion and vitality for you Your law and attraction card is my inner being guides me through my emotions. Um, and this is talking about, well, you are indeed a wondrous, a wondrous physical creator. You exist simultaneously in another dimension. There is a part of you, your inner being that exists in the physical body and your guiding emotions are your physical indication of your relationship with your inner being. So really stepping away from this situation, um, whether it's you trying to push too hard on getting something done um, and allowing it to unfold itself or allowing this family members and stepping back away from that situation to not get involved um, would be the best situation and making sure that you understand the relationship with yourself is to have compassion and say this is not good for me because you're really really you guys are separating me um, and it's not just making it impartial towards them it's really hurting yourself Right. So they say, no, you need to make sure that you're keeping yourself as happy as possible. Um, you know, you can't fix the world. We'd like to. But, it, you know, it feels like in a situation like this, if you did try because of the impartiality, tried to go to somebody, they felt you were stepping on their feet. Um, you know, it's just going to end up causing a little more havoc, which is just going to make you feel bad because they're bringing in just something that, you know, you didn't want to be in anyways, right? So, okay, until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.